If you want to know how to optimize your game and optimize your UI elements in your game, watch this video till the end. I will show you a very simple trick which lets you increase the performance of your game significantly. If this is the first time you're watching this video, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notifications so you will not miss any future content I release. Also, you can check out my website codeplanstudio.com where you can find uh, all of the graphics for all of the tutorials I do and also you can purchase the ready project uh, from the website which, is, which are available for release straight away. So go ahead and check out the codeplanstudio.com. I will leave the link in the description below this video. Okay, so let's get back to the video. So as you see, currently I'm I have loaded my uh, simple 2D mobile game where I have like a main menu. And if I press play and I go to the stats. So the performance of this game is not bad at all. Uh, currently I have just one draw call, which you can see here and also I have 10 batches but we can actually do better by using the sprite atlas so let me show you the example so currently if you go to the uh, to the window and then analysis and then profile I will dock the profile here and then inside the profile we can go to the disable everything and uh, just leave the UI details on. So under the UI details you will see all of your canvases which are currently in your scene. Let me pause the game and then you can actually open this and you will see all of the batches which are rendered. So if you click on any of the batch you will see exactly the texture which is rendered at a specific um, time. So as you see, my all of the textures in my game I current, are currently separated to individual batches. So if I press over, you will see what Unity is rendered at the time. So this is the basically the texture. As you see, all of this uh, all of these graphics uh, render separately because they are separate textures in the game, which I added to the uh, UI image. So we will try to combine them into the one batch so there is unity can render them straight away at the same time in order to do that we can create the, the sprite atlas and the way unity handle sprite atlas is basically you have to create the, just the sprite atlas and you don't have to worry about anything else so as you see this is currently my main, main menu asset which is, which you can see in the scene and they are actually rendered using the image component so Let's actually create uh, the Sprite Atlas. So right click create and the Sprite Atlas is under the 2D Sprites Atlas. And I will call this Atlas UI Elements. And the only thing which we need to do, we can actually select all of the textures which we want to pack. Actually, I will select the Sprite Atlas and then lock the inspector, then select all of the texture and then drag and drop those textures on the objects for packing. You will see that small plus icon. Once you release it, all of the texture will be there. And now you can play around with the settings. So you can set the max te texture size. I will leave it as it is, but you can decrease the size of the texture if you like. You can change the format, the quality. Also, you can use the tight packing. I will disable this uh, for now but you can actually enable it so the sprites are closer together and so once you're happy with the settings you can actually hit the pre, uh, pack preview so this is basically how how the texture will looks like okay so this is pretty much it what we have to do and then you may actually wonder how do we use this ui sprite atlas inside the ui elements and the, the answer is you don't have to do anything during the runtime unity will check for every single texture which you which you have uh, which you have in your source image and once it see the texture it will reference automatically to the sprite atlas and use sprite atlas actually to draw the texture so it's not going to use the individual image it's just going to use the sprite atlas now just to prove the point i will hit play now and as you see my batches significantly de decreased now i have only four batches 
and if we go to the profile so as you can see we have just the four batches the first one is the background the second one is the graphics all of the pack together and which are drawn from the sprite atlas the third batch is my clicking area and the fourth batch is just the setting uh, button so this is how you can d increase your performance by simply creating the sprite atlas and pack your static ui elements into it so unity will batch them together and the, your game will run much quicker so hopefully that was helpful for you Please leave a comment below this video if you, uh, if you have any more advices in regards to this. So thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video.